Hello there! Today is Thursday, June 15th, 2017, and this in video we'll be discussing the Microsoft Serum Man integration with Pandoc. My name is James, I'm the technical manager, and let's go and begin. So the very first thing we always want to start off on is our FAQ to help you along with this integration. So what does this integration do? This integration will allow you to create, send, and track quotes, proposals, and contracts within Microsoft CRM. You'll be able to start the documentation process from opportunities, account, contact, quotes, and any other custom entities that you'd find in Microsoft CRM. Opportunity records with all your custom fields and contact information, product info, as well as pricing details will flow into your documents seamlessly. So before you get started, you need to make sure you have a Pandoc account. You can sign up for one right here. Next, if you're interested in using uh, this integration with custom entities, you can find out more information about right here. So the very first thing we need to do is get through the installation of Pandoc in Microsoft CRM. And we can use the following links to go to the Microsoft App Store, which is right here. And we can click on this link, we'll take it to the App Store. Or we do have all our older packages available for older versions of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So let's go ahead and take a look at this page. When we go into this page, it'll take us to this section right here. We have some information on what this integration is all about. And all you need to do is you click on the, uh, the Get It Now button to start the installation process. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to confirm uh, the privacy information. You check a couple boxes and click Agree. Next, you go to the Manage Your Solutions screen. And this might take a little bit of time because Microsoft Dynamics has to process in the back end in order to get this installed. And when it's ready, it'll give you the state of ready. Once it's installed automatically, go back into your Microsoft Dynamics account and we'll go through and show you where this looks like. So here we are inside of an opportunity that we have inside of Microsoft Dynamics. And remember, you can also do this for contacts, accounts, and quotes. And over here on the right-hand side, you'll see the Pandoc integration. We know that it's been connected and is ready to rock and roll in order to be used. So let's keep on going. So these are just more examples of showing the uh, integration inside of Microsoft Dynamics. Next, we need to talk about the setup of the Pandoc templates to be used with Microsoft CRM. We need to set up our templates and we, what to data we want to pull in from Microsoft Dynamics CRM. In the following sections, we'll set up roles and we'll set up tokens. So first, let's talk about roles. Use of Pandoc roles and templates to import contact information. With the use of Pandoc roles, we can import contact information from Microsoft Dynamics Opportunity Object for first name, last name, email address, and company. And we can do this by showing an example of a template I have created here today. And over here on the right-hand side, we notice we have inside of roles, we created a role here called signer. Well, if you go to content and tokens, you notice that we have four tokens for first name, last name, email address, and company that we could use, for example, on my cover page in order to pass the information over from Dynamics into Panadoc. Next, let's go back to the CRM. Next, we need to talk about tokens or other field information we could pass over. So tokens are very helpful time savers. They'll autofill information from an entity straight into your documents. First, we need to access and configure the Panadoc module to include Microsoft Dynamics CRM fields to the Panadoc tokens. We do this by going into Settings, Extensions, and Panadoc Settings, and for example, right here. So here is the Pandoc settings options. You notice we have the different uh, entities, including opportunity, account, and contact. And you would have to set this up for each one of these. But for example, here in my opportunity, on the left-hand side, we have all the fields that are associated with an opportunity. And then the right-hand side is all the tokens that we have selected. To add a field, all we need to do is we uh, click the individual field. It will be added here to the right-hand side. And we scroll down and click on Save Mapping. Once that is done, we can review all the uh, individual uh, tokens and the values that we could use to pass information over. We do that by, once again, inside of the opportunity, inside the Pandoc module, over here on the right-hand side, we can click on the gear icon and then turn and click on Tokens. And this is going to populate all the tokens uh, that you have set up in the previous settings options. As we scroll down, we have account information, contact information, all sorts of opportunity information as well. And for example, one of these is the opportunity total amount. To use these tokens, all you need to do is you highlight from bracket to bracket. We right click on copy and then go into your Panadoc template, scroll down and add them to the location you want them to be, for example, right here. So this tells me that this token is going to be used inside of this template to pull that information over. We keep on going down. So one we talk about the configuring fields of tokens. We went through that process. 
and how it's review, review the fields, of course, to use them inside of the integration, and of course, how to use them as part of our templates as well. Now, what's also great about this, we also support custom fields for Microsoft Di uh, Dynamics CRM. So you can also send over custom fields so if you created Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Once you've added your custom fields, just follow the steps above we've just described in order to use those fields in Panadoc. The other great thing is we have the ability in order to use to pre-populate your doc with the product and pricing details within a Microsoft Dynamics CRM opportunity. So let me just go into an opportunity once again. As we scroll down, we do have the product line items that you see here, including product name and, of course, the price and the quantity. And we have the ability to pass this information over to a Panadoc template as well. So let's go into our Panadoc template. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and we notice we have a pricing table that I have added to this individual template and has this information here. And over here on the right-hand side, we can scroll down, and we have this checkbox, or just option selection, called Automatically Add Products to this table. And this needs to be in the on position in order to, uh, to accept the product information from Dynamics into the individual Panadoc pricing table. Let's go back into Microsoft, uh, the FAQ. So as we scroll down, we talked about that, how to use or set up that function of the pricing table. And then let's go through and start uh, sending out our first document, shall we? Let's do it. So here we are once again in this opportunity. Over here on the left-hand side, we do have a contact associated here, so the contact information will be populated. We also have account information here and some other fields that we have filled out and, of course, our product line items that we have right here as well. So over here on the right-hand side, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on Create New Document. And in turn, this is going to fire up Panadoc. And all you need to do then is just to choose the template that you're using here. For example, our integrations master one. The first thing that pops up here is Assign People to Roles. We know this information is being populated over because we have the owner of the individual opportunity and, of course, the contact who is associated with the opportunity as well. So all we need to do is just uh, uh, set up the opportunity, the contact, excuse me, to the role, and we click on Start Editing. Once we do that, it's going to take us into the individual document itself. As we scroll down, here we are. You see that it's populated the contact information. As we continue to scroll down, here's our opportunity fields. Here's our account fields that was populated. Our contact fields as well. Now, the quote information didn't populate here because we're not starting from a quote object. However, you can see how it passes the information over. Here's an example of some custom fields. And down at the bottom, here's an example of this individual pricing table that we have defined and then pass this information over. Let's say we're already a rock and roll, and all we need to do is we click on Send. We have the document name information here. We can modify this, for example, if we wanted to, called Quote for Tony. And then we click on Save and Continue. The Send Document screen pops up here. We can modify the subject message, or we can add additional message here. And all we need to do now is click on Send the Document. And once we do that, the document's been sent. The message is going to pop up here, do a quick refresh, and now the document has been sent out from Panadoc to the recipient. If we close out of this, this will take us back into the opportunity. And another great thing is that now, inside of this Panadoc module, we'll have the brand new uh, document that we sent out, including the name, the status, and what it was. And so you can always keep track of your individual documents through each object inside the opportunity. As we go back into the FAQ, there's just more information of how we track uh, the documents that we send out. And, of course, uh, how to use custom entities. You're interested in using that. And, of course, the ability to remove the Panadoc, Dynamics, uh, Panadoc integration from Dynamics if you're interested of doing that as well. So this is the Microsoft uh, Dynamics Serum integration with Panadoc. Many of our clients are using it here at Panadoc. And we hope you uh, have found this uh, video enjoyable and educational on how to set up your account. And as always, if you do have any additional questions or concerns, please reach out to us and we'll do our very best to take care of you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.